This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world in Book 2. Chapter 1. This is Section 9. Specialness and Special Relationships Hi David. I feel the concept of marriage is exclusive, maintaining separation by forming its own personal little bond that is more special than any other relationship. I feel the role of wife is very limiting. Yet, having a best friend here for me all the time is not only extremely enjoyable, it is comforting and secure too. We do almost everything together. It seems I am more than willing to accept a limiting role in order to get this friendship, specialness, I desire. I know this is a bargain and therefore of the ego, but I am afraid to release it. I do not like being alone. There are other ego agreements my partner and I have made too. Sex. Sometimes I want it and sometimes I just give it because my partner wants it and I want to give him the gift of whatever he wants. Isn't the love behind the act real? However, there are other ego agreements we used to have that we have given up. We never support each other in attacking a brother anymore. And we do help each other ask Holy Spirit what everything is for. We try to remind each other to stay present and we help each other practice forgiveness. In one of my ACIM classes, we were reading about special functions, specialness and special relationships. What was taught in this class is that although we make special relationships for separation, Holy Spirit uses even special relationships for healing and forgiveness. Such is the Holy Spirit's kind perception of specialness. His use of what you made to heal instead of harm. To each he gives a special function in salvation he alone can fill, a part for only him. Nor is the plan complete until he finds his special function and fulfills the parts assigned to him to make himself complete within a world where incompleteness rules. Text chapter 25, section 6. It was said that this text text says that our special function is to forgive the specific symbols each of us has made in our seeming separateness. So I am to forgive the symbol of separation. I have made by having a special relationship. So as I know my partner is no more special to me than any other brother because there is only one of us, my outer behavior will naturally change. My fear is that I must release this 26-year marriage to my best friend in order to forgive the world and fulfill my special function. Is this true? Must we release all special relationships? I do not want to be lonely. I like being with people. And also, if we must release the concept of marriage, then does it follow that we need release the activity of sex because it focuses on body thoughts? And then, do we also have to release eating, breathing and keeping warm? Do these things reinforce my thinking I am a body and keep me from heaven? My only goal is to heal. 
ACIM has released me from 47 years of pain. And I do not want to go back there ever again. I am willing to do whatever Holy Spirit guides me to do to further my healing and forgiveness. I will make whatever changes are necessary in this goal. However, right now, I see giving up specific special relationships as sacrifice. This means, of course, that I need a change of mind here, a miracle. Please help me understand what my special function is and help me change my mind to see all of this rightly. Thank you so much for your willingness to be God's holy and perfect channel. I love you forever in eternity. Beloved one, thanks for your devotion to awakening and for your sincere questions about the subtleties of specialness, special relationships and your special function. I feel the gratitude you express for the Holy Spirit's use of all the symbols in your perception. As you continue to ask the Holy Spirit what everything is for, the purpose will become very clear. The sole responsibility is to accept the atonement for oneself. The only helpful purpose a dream of separation could serve would be to offer a reflection of a still, non-judgmental mind. This is why forgiveness is the key to happiness and offers everything that you truly want. Safety, security, intimacy, freedom, love, peace, joy and happiness. In the realm of perception, forgiveness is truly your best friend. Salvation's task is the exchange of concepts, approaching the all-encompassing concept of forgiveness. The one concept that leads out of all the rest that the ego made. The concept of marriage is a stepping stone along the path of awakening. Its value rests in what the marriage is for. If the marriage concept is for getting needs met and focusing on an object of affection or for companionship to alleviate loneliness or a sense of isolation, then the concept is being used by the ego to reinforce the belief in separation from God. If the marriage concept is being used as a means of mirroring the mind in a shared commitment to awakening through exposing and releasing erroneous beliefs, thoughts, emotions and perceptions, then the concept serves the Holy Spirit while the belief in time is undone. Specialness and linear time are synonymous. The holy instant and spiritual union are synonymous. True union is the Christ mind at one with God and transcends all concepts, even forgiveness. As the mind is emptied of all concepts, the seeming needs and struggles and conflicts of interpersonal relationships are laid down, for they have ceased to have any meaning. Identity as spirit is all meaning. You are the goal the world was searching for, and in finding or recognizing the self, all goals have vanished. Be gentle with your mind in the awakening. Awakening is a change of mind that recognizes the changelessness of spirit. 
awakening depends on willingness and readiness for a shift in perception and is never induced through attempts to change behaviors or circumstances to suit preconceived concepts of what is specifically more spiritual or less spiritual. As you immerse in the purpose the Holy Spirit offers, you will be given a special function. The meaning of the term special function simply refers to the Holy Spirit's use of the symbols that are in your awareness. The term in no way means better or more holy than in terms of behavior, but does represent the purpose in mind that the Holy Spirit offers. As the mind opens to this purpose, the joy and glee of function fulfilled is obvious. The feelings of love and fulfillment and contentment replace all sense of lack and incompletion and unworthiness. In this experience, there is no sense of sacrifice, for wholeness does not know lack. Love is a state of mind which simply extends itself. The approach to the remembrance of divine love is a path of miracles. The ego's lens of lack is replaced by miracle working. Miracles are experienced directly in awareness and the former distorted miracle impulses, cravings for food, drink, sex, possessions and form preferences fade and grow dim in awareness as the Holy Spirit's purpose is consistently experienced. The attachment was to the ego mechanism of judgment or preferences and never to specific objects or behaviors or persons. In healed perception, nothing is seen as apart from mind and therefore there is no rejection. In healed perception, there is no need to seek for sensory grat gratification. For the Holy Spirit's purpose is wholly fulfilling and nothing is lacking. In awakening the ego has simply been transcended. Be gentle. There is no need to fight against the ego or to attempt to tame it. Let it arise and simply see its nothingness. Be attentive to your mind by simply noticing ego thoughts and giving them over to the Holy Spirit, who sees their nothingness. Do not raise body thoughts to the level of mind. This simply means do not see causation in form or bodies. The body and all forms are unreal effects of an unreal cause, the ego. God is a real cause and Christ is a real effect. Body thoughts were only the attempt to believe that something real could exist outside and apart from the mind of God. There is nothing outside the mind of God. Christ remains a pure idea in the mind of God. This is why self-realization is spiritual and not a matter of time-space. In awakening, the Holy Spirit is the comforter. And this is the true meaning of friend. In oneness, there is no best or worst, no more or less. Bodies and world will fade from awareness because they are not eternal. The Holy Spirit is the friend that remains eternal. The voice for God will seem to cease when the illusion of time is not held in awareness and the journey to nowhere is forgotten. 
turn to the Comforter and let the Holy Spirit give your weary mind its everlasting rest. Rest in God. Watch the plan in joy.